Russell Westbrook is on the point guard team, but he's their best rebounder, so he's gonna play center. Nikola Jokic is on the center team, but he's their best passer, so he'll play point guard. Each position has its own team. I did this for the entire NBA, and these are the five best teams. If you're not subscribed, you're crazy! Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1.7 million today. Also, hit that notification bell to join Nodi Gang. So every time I upload a fire video, you're not gonna miss it. Let's begin with the best teams in the Eastern Conference. Number 5, the Centers. Point guard, Marc Gasol, one of the best passing centers in the league. Joel Embiid, Brooke Lopez, who is like a seven foot version of Klay Thompson. He's gonna be in the corner shooting threes. Nikola Vucevic and the center of the center team, Andre Drummond. Between these two players, that's 30 rebounds a game. And our sixth man is a Ness Cantor. It's a slow team. They will get destroyed by the other four positions. Number four, the shooting guards. These five players combined average 107 points a game. At point guard, we got Victor Oladipo. When he was on the Orlando Magic, he played point guard. When he has the ball in his hands, he's at his best. Then we got Bradley Beal, Zach Levine, Chris Middleton, pause! We already have three all-stars on the team. And at center, we have the most underrated three-point scorer in the entire league, Buddy Heald. And our sixth man is RJ Barrett. So much scoring, so much better than the center's team. So how are they only number four? Well, they're unlucky because the Eastern Conference is stacked in the next three positions. Number three, the power forwards. Let's start with the power forward of the power forward team, Power forwardception, Blake Griffin! Back to point guard, we have Tobias Harris, Julius Randle, Al Horford. He's the Clay Thompson of the team. He can be a corner three-point shooter, even though he has one of the ugliest releases I've ever seen in my life. Look at this shot form, it's terrible! And Kevin Love at center. And if he's gonna play center, we need him to gain some weight and go back to chubby Kevin Love from his days with the Timberwolves. And how could I forget the sixth man, one of the best scorers in the league, John Collins. This team is filled with underrated players. You know what? Let's add one more underrated player because they also have Domas Sabonis, almost one sixth man of the year. Number two, the point guards. This team is not fair. Nobody is going to be able to guard them. Look at this. Look at this. The point guard of the point guard team, Kyrie Irving. He's one of the greatest ball handlers, not only in the NBA, but in the entire galaxy. Then we have Kemba Walker, Derrick Rose at small forward. Actually, you know what? He's better off the bench. Let's move Derrick Rose to the sixth man. We need a three-point scorer that Kyrie can pass to. I know the perfect point guard. Give me Trey Young, Trey Buckets. I want Russell Westbrook, but he's on the Western Conference. So give me the discount, Russell Westbrook. John Wall. Man, this team is so good. Only if we had a seven foot point guard we could use, that would be so convenient. Oh, wait a minute. At center, we have Ben Simmons. I don't know why he's considered a point guard, because he's massive, but I'm not gonna complain. And guess what? They have an amazing bench. Kyle Lowry, Derrick Rose, and Justice Winslow. This team is amazing. They would beat most teams in the current NBA. Some of you probably think this should be number one, this is the best team, but I don't think so. Because the team I'm about to show you, the small forwards, is just unbelievable. Number one, the small forwards. Point guard, Jason Tatum. The young Kobe Bryant, elite ball handling, he can handle the point guard position. Then we have Jimmy Butler, a great defender. He can guard almost any position. Small forward, well, no, 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 no. Let's skip small forward. At power forward, we have Kevin Durant. This is a cheat code because he's literally seven feet tall. He's taller than DeMarcus Cousins. 
But officially, he's considered a small forward, so we'll take it. And the best player on the team, not KD, not Jimmy Butler, at center, we have the 2019 MVP, Giannis Adet The small forward. You're gonna think this guy ruins the team, but don't sleep on him. The small forward for the number one team in the Eastern Conference is... Joe Harris. This is the best team in the East, but it's nothing compared to the Western Conference teams. The West is so much better. Number five, the power forwards. This is terrifying. At point guard, Zion Williamson, a 300 pound player at point guard. Then we have LaMarcus Aldridge, not a flashy name, but he'll drop 20 points on your head. At small forward, we have Brandon Ingram. Actually, wait, you know what? Move him to the bench. If we want to compete with the other teams, we need a defender. Somebody who can guard the point guards. Give me Draymond Green. At power forward, we have Kristaps Porzingis. He's seven foot three. So why is he a power forward and not a center? I don't know. I really don't know. And the center is Anthony Davis. This team is only number five, and they're better than most of the Eastern Conference. And it keeps getting better. Number four, the centers. The center for the centers team, centerception, is Rudy Gobert. Back to the point guard, Nikola Jokic. Yeah, I know he's slow, but he can pass. He's number six in assists in the entire league. Carl Anthony Towns, he can play shooting guard because he is such a good scorer. And his ball handling skills are extremely underrated. At small forward, we have DeMarcus Cousins. And our power forward is Steven Adams. You want more defense? Our sixth man is DeAndre Ayton. This is the best defensive duo in the entire league. Who's gonna score on Steven Adams and Rudy Gobert? Nobody! Number three, the point guards. Warning, this one is controversial. The point guard of the point guards team is Chris Paul CP3. He's a great passer and a great scorer. Well, actually, you know what? Move CP3 to the bench. I have a better option. Lonzo Ball. I know he's not one of the best point guards, but the other four players can do all the scoring. All we need from the point guard is playmaking and passing, and Lonzo is very good at those things. Then we have Steph Curry. Damian Lillard, D'Angelo Russell. These three players right here, each of them can make five or six threes a game, easily. That's a lot of threes. And at center, we have Russell Westbrook, the best rebounding point guard in the entire NBA. Now these three teams were all pretty good, but the next two teams I'm about to show you are the two best teams in the whole video. I'm about to blow your mind. Number two, the small forwards. If this team was in the NBA, they would win every year. Point guard, Joe Ingles. I know it doesn't sound good, but he has the most assists from all small forwards in the entire league, more than LeBron. Next, we have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, the two best defenders in the league on the same team. So we have the passing, we have the defense. Now, let's get some scores. Power forward, Andrew Wiggins. His only talent is scoring. But that's all we need. That is all we need him to do. And the center is LeBron James. And their sixth man is Danilo Gallinari, who averages 20 points a game off the bench. Oh my goodness, this team has everything. But they are not as good as number one. Number one is one of the best teams I've ever seen. Number one, the shooting guards. Prepare yourselves for greatness. Point guard, James Harden. When he played point guard in 2018, these were his stats. So he can play that position. Devin Booker, Clay Thompson, just these three players, that's already 90 points a game. And we have two more to go. DeMar DeRozan. Luka Doncic, and they have the best bench in the whole video. 
The finals matchup would be the Western shooting guards versus the Eastern small forwards. Which team do you think would win? Let me know in the comments. Last video was one of my favorite videos I've ever done. What if the NBA restarted and had a fantasy draft? Go watch that right now because that video is amazing!